it doesn't feel that much different being on the main show because I'm with Ollie and we're still having fun and it's almost the same team and it's almost the same job. We just have to be a little bit more serious. <laughs> a touch more serious, obviously, for the contestants. But um, I think Simon's pretty much, we, we were employed, obviously, because of what we did on Extra Factor. Yeah. And people always say, oh, but Extra Factor is a different show. But we kind of, we, we made our stamp on the show yeah. as us. So. I mean, the same fa- it's the same family and everyone's a family. Yeah. So it doesn't feel that different. It feels the same, but we've grown up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, it's really strange. Um, but yeah, obviously I did the show two or three years ago, So, but it is strange being right in the thick of it now. And we did a thing yesterday where we walked, you know, me and Caroline did a sort of walk onto the stage and it was empty and it brought back so many memories. It actually got really emotional talking to Caroline about all the feelings that I went through as a contestant walking to the X, you know. And it, it's a really um, strange experience, you know what I mean? It's been a crazy six years, but, but no, it's, it's nice to be on this side and to help the contestants out and give them some encouragement, so. You'd think, like, after 12 years, you kind of would have run out of talent in the UK. <laughs> you asked that to Simon, do you remember? <laughs> my first question I asked to Simon this year was, Simon, do you think maybe you've rinsed all the talent in the UK? He went, oh, Caroline, oh, what crap. kind of a first question is that? I thought I was going to be fired. Put a day on a downer. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he but said. But it's true, like, we've, you sort of scour the UK yeah. for 12 years. You think, how are we going to find anyone else? And then you'll find, like, this girl who's working in boots, who's, yeah. like, the most ridiculous voice, who That's hasn't done I mean. anything with it. That's what I mean, what's been great this year. You've, you're getting people that turn up that, you know, have been practising for years and have been in the industry but you're also getting a nice blend of you know a guy from a call centre or a guy that works in a pub or a girl that works in you know Debenhams or something you know what I mean it's a real nice blend this year I mean it only just happened naturally anyway yeah, we natural, really tra- we're not trying yeah. to do anything I mean Extra Factor put us together and it was just I mean I, I, honestly we've never sat and gone right we need to do this we need to wear the clothes like this we need to stand this way we need to talk this way it was just a natural chemistry that we we literally walked into a room the first day of auditions four years ago now and we'd only just met 15 minutes before yeah and it, it just happened and I think that's probably Anne and Deb would say the same it, you know and, and a lot of other duos I mean when you look at Philip Schofield and obviously Holly Willoughby as well and you know Ruth and Eamon I think it's just a natural thing you know we just naturally get on great we we know how to do the job so we just enjoy it and I hope obviously we we hope that everyone else sees that the show's not about us the The show show is about the contestants yeah it's about the contestants we've got to listen we've got to be there we've got to watch and we've got to kind of just make sure everything links together it's not about the Ollie and Caroline show at all it would be so, oh God, I got him. It would be so weird, wouldn't it? We think, we've always, we always talk about it, that would be so weird. We're just really good mates. We're best friends. You know, I, 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 Caroline's been so amazing. When I first met her four years ago, she's been brilliant towards me and, towards you know, you. helped me in this, <laughs> helped me in this job. But then once we started working together, I just knew straight away that, oh my God, Caroline's going to be a massive part of my, part of my life beyond the industry. You know, we're going to be mates for the rest of our life. So, you know, it's amazing to have, to be able to work with your best mate, you know. She did tweet when I was on the show okay, and I auditioned so and said that, oh, oh my God, that Ollie Bird's really fat. No, I didn't. Really when Ollie first ever auditioned, I was at home as a viewer, <laughs> I didn't work on the show, and I might have tweeted, I fancy Ollie Mers. <laughs> that was it, when you first came on the show. And my fans have found this, and they yeah. always remind me, but it is quite funny. But then I met you in the flesh and realised the oh, no. <laughs> Well, we've been really good mates. I think always... No, you we, we don't mind. Ollie's quite people. needy, though, like... He'll send me a text this long. You know when you get those really long texts? And I'll be like in bed or something. So I'll just reply like, yeah, okay. Because yeah, I'm a positive yeah. guy. I'm like, good day today. You only reply this, one this. sentence. She just replies a little <laughs> sentence. Yeah, great day. I'm like, oh, brilliant. Cheers, Kat. I'll be half asleep. Yeah. But we, you know, we just have a great friendship and, and we get on great. And look, everyone's always going to put, oh, Karen, oh, yeah. We We just ignore it and find it funny. You know what I mean? But... One day, you know, might, I might break down and be like, I've been in love with you for five years. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, this is awkward. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like on Christmas Day, I like, show up at your house, a bottle of wine, really drunk. <laughs> what are you doing here? I just... I've loved you for five years. <laughs> oh, my God. That's not going to happen. Please tell me that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Okay. It's quite funny if it did. <laughs>